Hey there! I'm Riskable, and this is the third video of my Let's Play series on the exclusive Batania Patreon server. In this video, I build a living rock generator, get a chicken farm going, open a nether portal, and... Did you ever wonder what Vasky's base looks like? Well, you're about to find out. Okay, earlier today when I was trying to uh, get my runic altar on, the game crashed. Well, the server crashed, I should say. Um, but now I'm back, and it is evening, and I am alone, so I should be able to get a lot done. I've got my semi-automated stuff going on right here. Uh, I'm going to do my Brunic Altar next. But first, let's take care of our little friend here, who's come to greet me in my joining the server. Hello. Of course, he sets me on fire. Problem solved. All right, back to what I was doing. We need to use the runic altar, so I'm going to need a mana spreader. Let's come over here and point this at that. How much mana have I got in here? That should be enough for a couple for a fire rune. Um, well, that's where it's going to go. It's for fire rune because I want the sash, and that requires actually rune of earth and rune of air. So I need a block of coal. And uh, feather and string and carpet. Carpet won't be a problem. Oh, I hate to do this to you people. Run back and forth, back and forth. So I'm going to make sure I get everything this first run. Ha! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Somebody was very generous to me in my absence, and they said hello. <laughs> okay. String, feather, mana powder, carpet and mana steel. Awesome. And once I've got my Sojourner Sash, I can actually move on to some better, uh, a fully automated rune, runic altar. It's one of the first things I usually automate. But I definitely prioritize the Sash because it helps me get around faster. Now, the block of coal, the mushroom, the mana powder. What else was it? Ah, uh, stone, mana steel. There we go. Now, I don't think I have any leather. <laughs> so I can't actually make the sash, which totally sucks. But at least I can make the runes. And the reason why I grabbed this guy is because I wanted to get, I was going to get the ring of core data which requires a rune of water, which requires a fishing rod, which requires string, which I don't have. Uh, I can make the fire rune, though. Fire rune. It's useful in all sorts of stuff. Uh, nether brick. No, I can't make the fire rune because I don't have any nether brick. Well, that's easy enough to make. So I guess my task now is to go get some obsidian, make another portal, and also try and get some more string and leather. Well, at the very least, I've got plenty of, um, food on me. Oh, cool. Whose base is that? See, now I'm disappointed because this is a little awfully close to what I was marking off as base potential. This is probably like a secret entrance over here. Ha. <laughs> I'll take that cool right there, though. This isn't a secret entrance. I'll be severely disappointed. Oh, come on. Whoever you're, whoever's base that is, is, this is like the perfect little secret entrance right here. Just use um, spectral platform blocks or abstruse platform blocks to go right into there. Take uh, some of those bounce pads all the way up to the top. To do the overlook. Ah, well, get on that, would you? <laughs> nice. Well, that looks cool just sitting there, but you're not using it. Very cool place, and don't worry, I'm not going to steal your stuff. Unless you have like five bazillion enderpearls, and then I'm going to take a couple because I'm desperate. 102 enderpearls. Right as I say that, of course. Mm. You know, that's a lot. <clears throat> and by the way, uh, I would like to announce that I installed Wyla for this particular reason. 
As you can see, it shows me exactly how many Ender Pearls are in that storage drawer. Over here. Sign. Upper path and desert to desert and quarry. A quarry, huh? Make a quarry in Batania. I haven't seen one of those. I understand it's possible. This is an impressive little farm. It's cool looking. Little sideways farm. And I hear cows. Under here. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Wherever they are. Over there. Defeatable top there. Yeah, I'm not going to go over there because it's lag the heck out of me. <laughs> uh, sadly, I'm going to have to agree with uh, that assessment. It does look kind of awful right there. <laughs> I love seeing people's bases. What they got. She's got enough furnaces? This person obviously goes on serious mining expeditions. Oh, year six. Jeepers. Your stuff, wood stuff. <laughs> Anything interesting? You know, I'm tempted to pick up this iron ore and put it in his furnaces. This giant collection of furnaces. <laughs> What's this all about? You know, you can combine these. Just an FYI, if you put them two of them in a crafting grid, they'll repair each other, and eventually, after you put all all these together, you'll actually have a Fully repaired bow. Ooh. Poking around people's bases. Being nosy. <laughs> Ooh, cake. Alright. Back to spawn. Love these signs. Fountain statue in center. Just a prank, bro. <laughs> On a generation. It's cool. Oh, another portal. Nice dock. Cool. Fishing hut thingy. Sounds like a good idea. Pillar out there. I like it. Oh, I'm just across the bay. Look at that. Back to spawn. Oh, and I'm starting to lag, which means my boat is going to crash and be broken up to pieces. Yep. Look at that. Ah, Minecraft. Because I need a big flat space for what I'm about to build. All right. Let's do this. And actually, you know what? I'm going to replace these with dirt. The reason why I'm replacing them with dirt is because I'm going to use this water. I just had a brilliant idea. I'm going to use this water to make a farm. Right here. Alright, now I need pistons. My hovering hourglass. And my two pure daisies. Actually, need four pure daisies, but two will do for now. For now. So, if you don't know, when lava falls onto running water, it makes smooth stone like that. And as I'm sure you know, the pure daisy only works on smooth stone. 
So if I do something like that, one, two, and that. And I put down my hovering hourglass over here. I should get... Haha! <laughs> Still I'm being pushed out. Now I'm gonna need two more pure daisies. And a couple of pulse spreaders and mono uh, to make this fully automated. Along with a hopper hawk. So let's do all that. Need some fresh living rock, which just so happens to be right here. <laughs> And this works. I mean, it's, it's mostly automated. But I'm going to make it fully automated. So, you know, when I come back, I will have loads and loads and loads of living rock. I'll have so living rock coming out of my ears, basically. What's going on here? Well, that's strange. Ah. I did make those into pure daisies, so let's put those down. Two. Oh, one. So I actually want this mana pool right here. So I need a little bit of dirt. I put the dirt away. Problem solved. Oh, really? There's the dirt I needed. So I'm gonna need another our hovering hourglass and some soul sand. I'll we'll need two soul sand. I don't have any red sand. There we go. Okay, now I need... I'm gonna need a storage drawer for all this living rock and a hopper hawk to collect it when it gets broken. My hopper hawk. Now I need a storage drawer. So what's cool about the hopper hawk? This setup here is with a storage drawer. I don't need an item frame. I can just do that. Now I don't need to worry about. It. Oh, look at that! Just in time! Oh, well. <laughs> Bring a magnetization. Those end up in the- yes, they end all ended up in the storage drawer. Look at that. It's got 25. Okay, so that should prevent that problem from happening again. Put this back on. Yep, excellent. What I need... is a living with bow. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Awesome. And I can put a little chicken farm over here. I've got enough eggs that I can actually get some chickens going. 
Yes, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make some fence. Now for the chicken farm. I love hoverhawks, man. I just love them. They're absolutely awesome. So I can just put a chicken farm anywhere over here, and the hoverhawk will pick up the uh, eggs that'll be produced. So I wanted to turn this into a farm. So let's do one. So actually, this one, two, three, four, just so I can get my bearings here. So now that that's going there, I can actually safely build my chicken farm. My chicken farm right around here. Oh, well, I got six eggs. Let's hope for a chicken. Seriously? Arg. I had an extra egg down here. One chicken's all I need. Give me a chicken, please. Ugh. Just want a chicken. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. I don't want a creeper. I really do need to light this place up more. I want a chicken though. Ooh. Hello. Mr. Armored Zombie. Can you give me some of that armor? What did he drop? Nothing. There's a chicken. And a bat! And a baby zombie. And he picked up the chicken's feather. Oh, he gave it to me! Alright, mister. <laughs> well, I keep forgetting that this bow is... ...fires more straight. Normal bow. Guys, I just want to lure this chicken back to my base. Can you stop antagonizing me? Come here, chicken. Ah, come on. This experience orb. Popped out an egg for me. Good job. I understand why you had to stop to do that. Now in vanilla Minecraft, what I usually do... Get the chicken... Get an automated chicken farm going on. So just put them on top of a hopper. <laughs> and uh, the hopper, you know, when, it, when he poops out of an egg, drops feathers, the, the hopper, they'll just end up in the hopper. And that works pretty well. But this uh, hopper hawk mechanism, I think, is better because I can just have one chest here. Uh, I can put a you know, feather chest here and an egg chest here. And the egg chest tends to fill pretty quick, um, while it were, and then you won't get the feathers that you need. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to make a feather chest. Well, actually, I'm going to make a storage drawer. I'm going to make an egg storage drawer and a feather storage drawer. The reason why I'm using storage drawers is because I don't have any item frames, and I can't make item frames because I don't have any leather. <laughs> it's like Catch-22, but these storage drawers are my rescue. They come to my rescue. So I got an egg one, and... Feather one, and now I don't need the item frames. Pretty sweet. 
All right, these trees are pissing me off. Horn of the wild, living wood, pasture seeds. Pasture seeds is grass. Okay. Now I need the canopy, birch leaves, birch leaves. I need birch leaves. Birch leaves or I'm going to go crazy. Or another canopy. Solve this tree problem once and for all. Go away. Aha. That's how it's done. Clear. I clear. That's what I do. I clear. All right. Now I've got some room to make a decent farm. <laughs> that only took forever. I don't forget this light gray wool. Just in the way. Hey. What are you doing here? Wow, some serious skeleton action going on. Serious lag, too. Am I gonna die because of this lag? I think I am, yes. Come with me, buddy. Come on. Okay, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave a like or a comment.